Hey all you cool cats and kittens, we're from the Climate Club and today we are going to be talking about the Netflix original documentary, Tiger King. For those of you who haven't watched it, the series focuses on zoo owner Joe Exotic and tiger advocate Carol Baskin and the world of big cat breeding in the United States. So this week, we decided to talk about exotic animal breeding. Although baby tigers might be really cute and easy to maintain, they usually grow into dangerous animals with unmanageable needs. According to the ACPCA, many exotic animals travel several miles in the wild, so life in a domestic environment isn't going to satisfy their natural desires. There are between 5,000 and 10,000 tigers currently in captivity in America, not to mention other exotic animals. According to National Geographic, there are more tigers in captivity than in the wild. There are a total of four states in America where owning a tiger is not only legal, but you can own them without a permit. Tigers that have grown too large for public contact and are therefore less profitable and more expensive to house are easily pushed and exploited into illegal wildlife trade. But isn't breeding tigers conservation? No. Most private tiger owners aren't properly trained to take care of the animals, putting both the public and the tigers at risk. After years of enduring unhealthy human contact, small spaces, poor diets, and health issues from inbreeding, the tiger can no longer be released into the wild to support population growth. So how can you help exotic animals in the wild and in captivity? Simply spread the word to people you know about staying away from animal parks that exploit wild animals. That's all from the Climate Club. We hope everyone is staying safe and healthy.